Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. I'm currently in my actual competition bikini, and I have been meaning to start a vlog sometime this weekend. And so I woke up this morning, and usually my check ins are on Mondays. And so you guys know I just posted. Um, a video I think it was like two weeks ago and it was more of like a professional video and I did it with Nick he's amazing and it was more of just a thing to welcome me to another gym which I'll totally talk to you guys about uh, but this vlog is going to be just more again just kind of more like vlog style regular style nothing too fancy here even though I love Nick and everything that he does um, but again woke up it's Sunday sorry dieting brain and I don't know if I mentioned like in the last vlog but currently it's been like forever since I've done a vlog but anyway um currently about 13 13 days 13 days away from my show and so last time I think I posted a video a while ago um talking about my last prep and how it my body just wasn't responding well it wasn't really doing the best and I'm going to dive into that and kind of talk more about what has happened the last few months because my life has definitely made like a whole 180 shift completely but it's been all super exciting stuff and so um just wanted to start vlogging here's my suit you guys this is the new blue one you guys know that i did red for my last show there's nothing wrong with the red one but i really do think that i look better in blue and after talking to my coach she agreed and so i got this new blue one from angel competition bikinis and i absolutely love it i'm so excited to wear this one on stage and i did usually my check-ins are on mondays with my coach uh, but i always like to take my measurements my weigh-ins and photos on sunday because um, mondays are always a really super early day for me and so i never want to get up at like four in the morning and take pictures and everything when it's like dark out and so that's why I put on my suit this morning to take my progress pictures and take my weigh in. I was really nervous about doing my um, like weigh-ins and stuff this coming week because it's my time of month and so um, but surprisingly so last week I was at 118.6 pounds and then this morning it's freaking crazy how like our body can change like in a matter of a day on Saturday I weighed myself and I was 117.8 and so I lost like 0.8 pounds then I went to the gym crushed legs you guys it was a great session and then did both my cardio sessions and then I woke up this morning and I was feeling like much tighter than I was yesterday and so I hopped on the scale again and I was 117 pounds and so made I dropped 1.6 pounds from my check-in last week which you guys my body's been responding crazy good to this prep and I know for a fact it's just because I started off at higher food less cardio duh and so um and didn't make the stupid mistake that I did last prep and so my body's been responding really, really well to say the least. And to say that like I lost 1.6 pounds and it's my period week, like we'll more than likely see a bigger drop this coming week too as well on the scale. And so, so happy. You guys have no idea though. That makes me so happy. And so then I just put on my suit, did my check-ins and stuff. Um, and now I just made my coffee. Uh, today's my rest day from the gym. So I've been doing, I just recently switched over to six days a week of cardio and and um lifting so before i was just doing lifting i gotta find a place to set this um i was just doing like lifting for six days a week cardio five days a week and now this was my second week of doing cardio six days a week too and then sundays i always leave aside as my rest day just so i can like get mentally prepared and everything for the week and so, I mean, I like having the rest days, but at the same time, it's also my lowest day for, like, calories and stuff, too. And so, huh, we're going to make it, though. I honestly, my coffee here, boss lady, um, on, honestly, like, I had a whole list on, like, I'm going to, like, this is going to be a productive Sunday. I'm going to get shit done sort of thing, which I know I still will, but now I'm just, like, standing here and I'm, like, I'm freaking tired. 
<laughs> which anyone who's ever done a prep knows exactly like what I mean. Like I wanted to like, for instance, I was gonna wake up, I'm rambling a lot right now, I'm sorry you guys, but anyway, I'm almost done, I promise. I was gonna wake up, I was gonna like do my posing, my check-ins, and then I'm like, I'm gonna go on a walk, listen to a podcast, come back, clean the whole apartment for when Brandon gets back, my brother, which that's a whole other thing. I God, I have so much to update you guys on. Um, clean the apartment before my brother gets back, do this, do that, you know, and now I'm just like sit, sitting here, just did my posing check-ins, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm gonna have like a chill day. It's just gonna, not really gonna feel like anything. Honestly, like, on my rest days now, you guys, all I want to do is just like lay in bed and freaking watch MasterChef and <laughs> drink my freaking coffee and just enjoy my life. But anyway, I just wanted to kick off this vlog and say, hey, I'm going on like six minutes already. And so, um, yeah, I'll probably, I think I'm going to make myself go to the grocery store. I honestly, you guys, like my diet is so limited right now. I really wish that I could like do like a whole fancy grocery haul and show you guys like all the dieting foods and stuff. Um, but as of right now, I am eating like four times a day. Today I'll only eat three times because I'm not working out. But with those four meals, like they're all exactly the same. And I've been keeping them exactly the same, eating at the same time every single day to try and make everything as predictable as possible. So basically, I'm just eating egg whites and chicken right now. Um, only get a little bit of carbs like after my um, workout. I like the song. <laughs> and then um, some like healthy fat throughout the day. And then for vegetables, I'm just eating iceberg lettuce. So it's nothing like super fun at all, but I am sure that I will still show you guys my boring diet. Well, today I don't know if I will because it's my lowest amount of calories. And so I'm, I, think I'm, yeah, I think I might get an energy drink. I really need one today. Super, super needing one. But anyway, oh, no vlog, you guys. I'm happy to be back. I'm, I want to for sure like bring you guys to my show. My show's in Denver. Denver, Colorado, you guys, let's freaking go. And anyone who's asking, no, I'm not worried about coronavirus and traveling. They're still doing shows, so I'm gonna be there. If they have us wear masks, I don't know. As of right now, no, so I'm like, hell yeah. But then if they do, chill, I'll wear a mask as long as I can go on stage because I've been prepping for this show since May. I will do it, so whatever. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna go get changed, probably clean up and stuff like that, go to the grocery store. I'll show you guys like the two things that I get from the grocery store just cause everyone likes seeing food in grocery store hauls. Even though I think I'm just gonna get chicken. Chicken! Maybe some jazzy rice if they have it. I don't know, it's always been freaking sold out. If not, I'll just get rice cakes, keep it to rice cakes. And yeah, just boring, boring, plain dieting food like that. But anyway, welcome to the vlog and I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys, messy hair right now, but that's just real life on a rest day. Okay, so I just went to the grocery store. Like I told you guys before, I just had to pick up like a couple of stuff, so not a ton at all. Um, so I'll still show you guys though, because I picked up a few stuff for my brother, um, for him for this week too as well. Uh, but what I did a few hours ago, See if I can put this. I put in a ham with carrots and I love just like crock pot meals and so and then I just put in some like garlic, pepper, what did I do? Garlic, pepper, onion powder and I have that in the crock pot. That's mainly like normally I would like totally eat some of that but as I said with prep and everything I'm trying to eat the same exactly like exactly the same for every single meal every single day I've been doing it like for the past I would say like month of prep I really try to do that just to get my body and make everything predictable so I prep that for him I'm probably gonna be putting some rice in the rice cooker too 
um, for him too as well. And so for me, I got more lightly salted Quaker rice cakes. I have these only one time a day post-workout right now. So I only got like two of them because again, I'm not eating a ton of carbs anymore. Um, and then I got him some cuties for his shifts too. I mainly needed just chicken breasts more throughout the week because I'm eating chicken breasts like two to three times a day. And so I got two bags of these frozen chicken breasts. I'm going to be prepping just a shit ton today. Um, and then my brother, he told me yesterday that he really likes the kettle corn. We always get Smart Pop because it's less fat. Um, and it's just a lot better in my opinion too for like macros and stuff. So I got him this. There's 12 mini bags. Um, can't have this right now for me, but I wanted to get it for him. He also loves doing um, salsa, like chips and salsa. So I just got a huge thing of salsa because I like to put salsa on like my eggs and stuff. But we honestly go through like a thing of salsa so fast. And so they didn't have the medium, so I just got the mild. Um, and then I got him multi-grain um, chips. So again, I always try to get something that's a little bit healthier. Honestly, you guys, multi-grain isn't that much healthier though. If you can always get like whole grain, that's a lot better because there's not like, there's only one gram of fiber per serving. But compared to all the other options there, I thought this one was best. So he was running low. So I got him a whole new bag of those. I got jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is by far my favorite type of rice. And I think I'm going to save that for um, like peak week or when I go and I travel to Denver. Um, I think I'm going to be bringing some rice cakes, but I always like either, basically for carb sources, I'm sticking to rice cakes or regular um, jasmine rice. So I don't know, might make it for this week, might save it until I go to Denver and bring it with. Um, and make it and like freeze it. We'll see what ends up happening and like what I'm craving this week And then I was out of salt and I'm like I need salt right now And so I got this garlic salt So I'll probably end up putting this on like my chicken when I prep it too as well um, But yeah, so that's basically all I got like I said it wasn't like a ton uh, We already have two huge bags of shredded lettuce. So I'm gonna be eating that with my chicken um, something that I've really been loving too to put on salads Probably won't be having a ton of it now because it does have dairy in it And I'm trying to like not bloat or anything is this Tostitos avocado salsa. It's so good you guys especially in a Salad like you could use this as like almost like your dressing um, And per serving two tablespoons is 45 calories four grams of fat one gram of carb and like one gram of protein and so it's a really good like dieting food too as well. Um, but yeah, that was my little haul. Wanted to show you guys. I didn't show like my food from earlier. It's like one o'clock right now. And so like I said, I'm having three meals today. My first meal was basically just like egg whites. Um, and then I had a rice cake with peanut butter. <laughs> so that was, that was meal one. It was a really sad meal. So I didn't want to just go ahead and show you guys. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to put away this food and stuff and start working on some client check-ins and stuff. Um, and then I will probably show you guys like when I prep my chicken and stuff like that. I'm probably going to do rice for Brandon too. So we'll keep you guys in touch with everything. Alright, so I'm currently prepping some chicken for the week. And I thought I would show you guys how I usually season it and everything because I always get questions on that. And so basically I just, I usually take the frozen chicken breasts out and I put it on aluminum. I have the oven turned on to 450. Um, so I put them in there frozen and leave them in there for like five to 10 minutes so they start to thaw and then I take them out so then the seasoning can stick to them better. And so for these four here, I used some lemon pepper to put on there. I really like this one by Kingsford. It tastes really good. And then, well, first for all these, actually, I sprinkled them with some garlic salt. And so really, really good. And then I put on the lemon pepper. These I started and I put on taco seasoning. And then um, I was going to do just these two. And I did it with this ranch seasoning packet. So I really like this. Um, it's zero everything. It just has a, some sodium in it. I also like to mix this with plain 
um, Greek yogurt and it makes a healthy high protein ranch uh, dip too you can use with veggies and stuff but now I'm gonna try putting it on chicken so I'm actually pretty excited about it and then I also sprinkled some of the ranch on here to get like a like a ranch like a taco ranch chicken and so yeah I'm gonna be prepping these I'm gonna put them back in the oven um, and then they'll probably be in there for like probably like a half an hour or so until they're done cooking Hello you guys, what's going on? So, I was going to sit down and give you guys this really nice long update on everything, on how the show went, my life update that I've been talking so much about, and then I turn on my camera, and of course, I'm at 6%. Story of my life. So, I don't wanna procrastinate this or anything. Sorry, my hair is crazy. But um, I'm just gonna start talking, and if my camera dies, I will charge it, and I will pick off where I left off. So I'm going to set my camera up here and talk to you guys because we have a lot to talk about. We have some updates to go through from when I last chatted with you guys. I have you guys on like a stack of gum right now. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm just going to hold it. F it. Got to save the battery life. Okay, so last time I recorded a video, I believe it was my brother and I, and we were saying like, hey... Um, you know, we're gonna go to Denver, Colorado. I'm gonna do the show. It's gonna go awesome um, And yeah, I did a show with like Corona going on and everything too as well And it was a really interesting show show basically they split it up um, And they had the first half the events go in the morning and the first half go in the evening and me being in bikini I went um, I was the last to go and so I ended up not stepping on stage um, until about like 3 30 in the afternoon and for anyone who's ever competed before you guys know that usually in the morning there's pre-judging and then you have like a five hour wait or so and then there is the night show um, but with this show it was just you go up and you basically just do your routine and they gave out awards right away um, and again it was just to limit the seating limit the crowd limit the athletes and just get the show going and so personally I didn't mind it because um, other than like stepping on stage at 3 30 that was pretty late um, and can really kind of mess up like your carb up time and everything like that um, but nonetheless like the thing that I really liked about it was we went up there and then like we were done By a decent time. We weren't done at like 10 or 11 p.m. At night So that part I liked but then at the same time, it's just like I don't know it, it was it's always nice going back in the night show and I don't know just the whole show day is always really nice, but nonetheless the show went on We had to wear masks the entire time which is understandable and I was just really happy just to get on stage and do the show um, uh, This was by far the best Package that I had ever brought you guys. Um, I did a video a few months back when I did a show in October and um, I did not bring um, my best I didn't bring you know the best package and I did not beat my physique from when I was when I first competed um, when I was 18 years old and so uh, I did a whole video on that if you guys missed it go check it out I think I titled it just like I don't know it's just like what I did wrong for my 2019 prep um, so this prep really meant a lot to me I started working with uh, Team Elite Physique like I told you guys about um, in January of 2020 and basically they helped recomp me and bring my calories like way up high that was the most I ever ate I ate around like past like 2,000 calories um, and so we got like my metabolism back up to par and everything like that um, and then even built on some size and then once gym started opening back up and stuff uh, we were really all right you guys of course my camera died and so I let it charge overnight it is currently it is September 1st and it's 8 30 in the morning I just got back from training some early morning clients um, but basically uh, I think where I left off was just talking about the show and how it was different and it was split up and so all in all like I really liked it that way um, and I ended up placing third in my novice class and then I placed fourth in my open class and so um, overall like I was super happy with the package that I brought it was by far um, the best that I've ever looked I think I, I'll try and like insert even like my peak week photos here and stuff I'm still trying to Shots. Um, but it was the best that I'd ever brought but one thing that I definitely noticed um, as I leaned out 
um, and Kayla and I were really talking about this, was um, my shoulders definitely were smaller compared to the other girls at the show. Um, and then I got some judges feedback and they said they were looking for um, a little bit more muscle density and maturity um, in my legs and in my glutes. And so um, overall they said my conditioning, like I was lean enough, which was super, super awesome because that's what I really struggled with last show, that my conditioning was on point. Uh, posing was good and everything, but it was just uh, basically just getting more muscle, uh, which again, Kayla and I kind of knew going into um, the prep and really noticed as I leaned out more. And so basically it just kind of clarified what Kayla and I were already talking about during the prep and everything. And so with this feedback, we have decided to go right into um, an improvement season for the rest of 2020 and probably the majority of 2021. And so I probably won't be doing my next prep until, um, probably won't start prepping until either like close to the end of 2021 or until 2022 even. We're really just gonna see how my body um, really starts to respond in this improvement season and so um kayla i actually started working with her when i started the prep and so when i started the prep in may i started training with um a trainer kayla a coach um and she was um at a different gym than the one that i was currently working at and so basically i ended up tr um working in person with her and coaching and working with her like two times, a couple times a week, uh, just to have someone to really, really push me. I wanted to make sure that I was really just having someone kick my ass during the workouts. And so I really started to wor work with her and she's absolutely incredible, you guys. She knows so much about bodybuilding, about powerlifting. She like knows her shit and she's incredible. She also competes in bodybuilding shows as well. And so um, overall, just amazing. And so basically her and I hit it off really well. And it was just like, it's like when you meet someone and you just immediately click with them, you immediately vibe with them. She's also um, an online coach and an in-person coach and so we just had a lot of stuff in common um, and basically she was uh, she's an independent trainer over at our gym here um, Metroflex and so we started uh, she started kind of coaching me and then eventually um, we just talked and brought up the idea of me um, moving over officially to that location and working as a coach um, also with her and so um, that was a really big and really fun um, decision that I got to make and it was really really awesome um, just because I'm really looking the majority of my clients are online but I still wanted to take on um, a limited amount of in-person clients in the morning and so I made the decision I think it was in June around that time to move over and join the team with um, her and also um, the, our head trainer, uh, Sweeney. And so uh, that was really, really exciting for me too as well. And I honestly, you guys don't know, I don't know why I didn't switch over to that gym sooner. Like the environment, the vibe, it's all body, it's like bodybuilding, powerlifting, Olympic lifting, like everything like that. But then also just people who just, you know, love to lift and just work out, go there too as well. And so, um, yeah, I basically switched gyms and stuff and went over there. Um, so that was super, super exciting. And so uh, I finished out my prep there. Um, and then Team Elite Physique was still doing like my online programming for like nutrition and stuff like that. Um, and so that was really, really awesome. And so finished up the prep and then I flew out to Denver on the Thursday when my show was on that Saturday. And so that was really awesome. Um, and then Saturday I got to like meet my um, coach Sam in person. I got to meet Adam in person. I got to meet Anya. They are all amazing, amazing people. And it's just, it's always weird like when you meet someone uh, who you follow on social media and stuff because you just don't know how, I don't know, like it's just different when you meet them in person, you know, but for them, like meeting all of them, like they were just absolutely incredible. They were even, even better. And, um, so it was awesome getting to meet them. And like I said, the show went really, really awesome. And so following up now from the show and like going into improvement season and stuff, um, I did decide to, um, work with just Kayla through this improvement season, just because I am with her in person and it made a lot more sense to as well. It was, it was really hard though, you guys, because I highly recommend Team Elite Physique too for anyone who wants to go through like competition prep and stuff. They absolutely know their stuff. Um, but for me, it's just like I was, I'm working with, um, Kayla three times a week and, 
um, she's just here in person and so it just I just decided just to work with her kind of full-time with everything and so she's taken on like my my programming my nutrition and everything like that and it's going super super well and so what's gonna be a lot different now for this improvement season is um, I've never really had like an actual game plan for my improvement season like I never took it actually no I call myself out here I've never taken it seriously as serious as I should before it was kind of just like oh I'm gonna move into improvement season now I'm gonna give myself more flexibility with foods I'm gonna like kind of go into more like intuitive eating and workouts like I've always stayed consistent with working out I always did like six times a week um, but it was never like super heavy lifting. It was never like an actual program. It was kind of just like, oh, I'm just gonna kind of stick with what I've always done. And now with Kayla, it's, uh, I just had my first like day of the program yesterday and today I feel like I got hit by a bus. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a lot more heavy lifting, um, which I'm super excited about because before I was just like, like obviously I know form and stuff being a trainer, but I was always super nervous that like, I don't know if I went super heavy and did like a five by five that, you know, I always work out by myself. What if I injure myself? What if like I don't have a spotter and I need help? So I always kind of use that um, as a way of kind of not getting into that. And so now it's going to be a whole bunch of heavy lifting. It's going to be, we're going to implement more even like power lifting into um, my lifting. Like I'm not going to compete at a meet or anything like that. It doesn't really interest me at all, but just throw in more um, power lifting lifts into my routine too, just to really build my legs, just like the judges wanted. And so building the muscle density, the muscle maturity is definitely what we're going to be aiming for. Um, and I'm just, I'm super, super excited for it. You guys just to have the accountability to have the game plan and stuff and I'm just I'm truly ready and I think ever since like this show and this prep like I don't know I feel like after my show in October I was just like it really did show me how far I really want to go in this sport and how much I love it and especially now with uh, training with Kayla when I started that in like May June June-ish um, she really reminded me like how much I love bodybuilding, how much I love competing um, and just really kind of reminded me of like, hey, this is part of my purpose and, and what I'm meant to do. Um, and yeah, and so now I'm just, I've never had so much like tunnel vision with this. And so um, even though like prep is officially over for 2020 and stuff, like I have no post-show blues. I'm not sad and stuff. Yeah, I love the grind of prep and stuff, but now to me, I'm just like, you know, the grind's not stopping. I'm gonna continue to practice my posing daily. That's a huge commitment that I'm gonna be making. Um, and so I'm gonna continue with training hard. I'm gonna, I've stayed 200% on my meal plan right now, and I'm gonna stick to a meal plan um, more and not do like intuitive eating or anything like that because that's just bullshit and it's not going to get me and I think another huge thing that's helped me is I've um, really made all of like my Instagram feed like following like pros and then to see them being like completely on their shit every single day I'm like it's kind of, it's been really eye-opening to me and just like wow like if you really want to be like the best of the best like it's no days off it's continuously working it's continuously putting in the effort and so just changing up my environment, I would say, from Metro to working with Kayla and then also just from um, following more people on Instagram and really sitting down with myself and asking, you know, what are my goals? Do I Am I really going to take this seriously or not? You know, and really doing even this show is showing me, you know, I'm really competitive and I really want to go far um, has really just change my whole perspective and whole drive on this as a whole. And so um, overall, that's um, where I'm at. And then kind of like aside from competing like another kind of life update is um we did i did move so i'm in a completely new apartment too and i'm now living with my brother which i'm super super excited about he's in his final year of college here before he goes off to med school and so um we'll be rooming together for at least like a full full year or two together which is super super exciting too and so we ended up moving um in march like literally it was right before corona like started like it was like right when corona was kind of um getting kind of out in the media and stuff and we were hearing that you know places were going to start shutting down and so we we're like okay we need to like make this move right away and so we moved right into the new apartment and then like literally everything shut down then so we made it just in time um and yeah so basically you guys that's where i am at um 
I'm going to, again, I really want to share more aspects of um, my improvement season two. And if you guys don't already, um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's alicia.syak underscore fit. Um, and I'm going to be sharing a lot of my improvement season there. I even created like an IG um, story highlight and made it like we growing. Um, and so I'm super excited just to take you guys along the journey, share updates and stuff like that. And then, yeah, just especially the next time for prep to see, you know, where we come back and how much more muscle we have. And I'm super excited. I'm 20 right now. I'm going to be turning 21 next month, which is really it's just crazy because I feel like I would just turn 20. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm super, super ready just to commit like these next five, 10 years or so um, to competing. And I'm super excited to take you guys along the way. So that's all I have for you guys so far. Um, please give this video a like, comment down below if you have anything specific that you want me to show in the improvement season life, any questions that you guys have. But other than that, I think I still need some more coffee because my voice is like really <laughs> almost gone. But um, I hope you guys have a great, I hope you guys are just doing well. I should say that great day, but it'll be after Tuesday when I post this video probably. And so I hope you guys are hanging in there. I hope you're doing well. I know we're in a really difficult time in the world right now where a lot of things are going on. Um, a lot of people are being, you know, personally affected, mentally affected, physically affected, financially affected. Um, and I just hope you guys are doing okay. And I'm sending prayers and blessings your way. So, goodbye, you guys. Talk soon. And I hope you guys have a great day, whatever day you guys are watching this on. <laughs>